Hello my dear student I welcome you all to the maths class so in today's class we are going to start exercise 1.3 which is in page number 23 of your maths ncert book chapter is chapter number 1 knowing our numbers okay so in our last class we have completed exercise 1.2 so we we are going to start exercise 1.3 from today and I'll be starting with question number 1 so question number 1 state that estimate each of the following using general rule okay so we have to estimate okay we have to estimate estimate means uh, something the value which is not the exact one but the estimated one say for you go to the market okay and uh, if the cost of uh, suppose 1 kg tomato say it is 25 say it is 28 then you will give the estimated if somebody ask you what is the uh, what is the cost of that then you will say it is at around 30 at around 30 that at around is the estimated value is in it that at around is the is nothing but an estimated value i hope that is clear that makes a sense right so we have to similarly estimate the value of the given numbers out here Okay, so what is the question number one here? Just see, it is seven hundred and thirty plus nine hundred and ninety-eight. So I want you all to copy with me whatever I am writing. Kindly copy it because I am going to erase this. Okay, so you have to estimate the value of seven hundred and thirty. So seven hundred and thirty. That means we will uh, use the round off. We will do the round off. So what? in between which two values the 730 comes it comes in between 700 and 800 so 730 this is our number and it comes under 700 and 800 so which is nearest one so rounding off is done in such manner only whichever is the nearest number that we choose so here to reach 730 to 700 we minus 7 minus 30 and to reach 730 to 800 what we do we add 70 isn't it so which one is near 30 or 70 of course 30 is near so i'll be rounding off the figure rounding off so you'll write round off 730 round off value of 730 is 700 so this is the estimated uh, so sorry this is the round off value of 730 similarly you will round off you'll round off 998 also so i'm erasing this i want you all to note down this properly this is very very important all right okay so let me erase this part okay so what is the next value the next value we have a 7 sorry 998 so 998 comes in between 900 and 1000 So which one is closer? So here to reach 900, you have to subtract 98, and here to reach 1000, here what you have to do? Here just plus two you have to do. So which one is near? So plus two is near. So the round of nearest round of value of 998 is 1000. So but what we have to do here? We have to plus it and we have to get the estimated. So plus it. What is the value? Zero zero seven, and it is seventeen hundred. Seventeen hundred. So you will. What they have asked us to write? So they have asked us to estimate. Okay, we have written the estimated value. The estimated value is seventeen hundred. So when we add this to exact number, we will not get seventeen hundred. They have asked us to calculate the estimated value. That's why we are writing seven hundred as an answer. Okay, is this clear to everyone? I hope this makes a sense. So I want you all to copy it right now, as because I'm going to erase it. Or you may take the screenshot of this. Okay. So I'm erasing. Pause it, and you may copy this. All right. So I'm proceeding to the next part. The next part I have is number B. That is seven hundred and ninety-six. Seven hundred and ninety-six minus three hundred and fourteen. So let's write what is the nearest value of 796. So 796 comes in between 700 and 800, isn't it? Yes. So 796 to 700 to reach that you have to minus 96, and to reach 796 to 800 just plus with four. So which one is no near four? 
so I'll take the round of value of 796 as 800 so you'll write round of value of 796 is equal to 800 yes is there any doubt no very good so let's proceed to the next one I'm erasing this okay <clears throat> 700 now 314 now 314 comes in between 300 and sorry 314 and 400 so which one is near here you have to subtract 14 here you have to okay to reach 300 for oh, sorry let me subtract this then. 314 so minus 6 here 9 minus 1 is 8 so to reach to reach um, 314 to 400 here what you have to do here you have to plus 86 and here you have to minus it which one is near of course 14 is closer number that is the round that will be the round of value so write down round of 314 is equal to 314 not not 400 as because 86 you have to add and 86 being a larger number than 14 we will choose 300 yes here we have to subtract it so subtract it 0 0 8 minus 3 is 5 isn't it so your round of value of this two number is equal to 500 so this is how we do it right very easy isn't it so this thing you have done when you were in your lower class I'm again deleting this part I want you all to copy it very properly without any mistake having any problem pause it and copy the work okay all right so what is the next question we have the next question we have is number c that is number c that is 12904 plus 2888 so 12904 comes in between 12000 and 13000 so now here you have to choose which one is the closer number here you have to minus 904 here just plus just adding with 6 you will get 13,000 so you will write round of 12904 is equal to 13,000 not 12,000 why here we have to subtract a large number that is 904 isn't it so why to choose the greater number whenever you are choosing whenever you are rounding off whenever you are estimating you will estimate or you round off in the closer number like this okay similarly okay let me delete this first okay so <clears throat> the next number we have is 200 2888 so 2888 comes in between 2000 and then 3000 isn't it so now here you have to say minus 888 you have to do to reach 200 sorry 2000 and to reach 3000 uh, what you have to do here let me subtract it and this way also you can get the value 2 9 minus 8 is 1 9 minus 8 is 1 again so it is 112 so to reach 2800 2888 to 2000 you have to subtract with minus 888 but to reach to 2888 to 3000 you have to add it with 112 so what you are going to do of course i'll be choosing this so i'll be writing round of 2888 is equal to is equal to 3000 why because after adding 112 only we are getting the 3000 value but to reach 2800 to 8 2000 you have to pay a lot of money that is 888 i'm not going to do that okay so what you have to do here we have to add and get the value that is 0006 and 1 so the estimated value of this two number is equal to 16000 okay so i hope this is clear to you all right so copy it in a very neat and clean manner okay so i'm proceeding to the last question that is number d right so let me erase this part also so i'm not going to delete round of written one okay so the question is the first num the number is 2829 to 28292 which is the nearest value of 28292 
okay so 28,292 comes in between 28,000 and 29,000 so it comes under this two number so to reach 2000 to 28,292 to 28,000 what you have to do just subtract minus 292 you'll get the value to reach 29,000 okay 29,000 to 28292 what do you have to do you have to add what number you have to add let me get the value 9 minus 9 0 9 minus 2 7 0 so it is 708 so you have to add 708 so which number you are going to choose of course I'm going to choose this number that is 28,000 why because because uh, uh, which subtracting with 292 only we are getting to 28,000 but here adding with 708 that is big number you are getting 29,000 so in order to so that is why the round of value I'll be I'm going to choose this to a of 28292 is equal to 28,000 clear so let me erase so that it will be more clear to you okay so that that is how we choose it i hope you people have till now got an idea how to make uh, the how to choose the rounder value so similarly of 21496 the round it will be it will be 21000 so i i have done it directly so i want you all to uh, do this by yourself how i have got this okay so here you have to subtract as in the question it is subtraction so i am subtracting so what is the value you'll get zero eight minus zero okay it is twenty eight thousand so it is zero minus zero eight minus one is seven so your estimated value will be seven thousand all right student i hope this makes a sense to you all this is very easy thing so kindly practice a lot if there is any problem kindly do share with me okay feel free to ask me if, um, okay so in our today's class i'll be just uh, keeping here we have done question number one till d i want you all to copy this in your copy this will be a home assignment okay so thank you everyone and kindly please i request you all to copy this in your work and maintain your copy very nicely and properly in a neat and clean manner okay thank you everyone see you in the next class